400 years ago, this guy pointed a telescope at the sky, a telescope he had made himself, and saw a planet with ears. The telescope wasn't very strong, and the picture was fuzzy. With better telescopes today, we know that he was seeing the rings surrounding the planet Saturn. Galileo wasn't the first person to look at the sky in wonder, but he was one of the first to see that it wasn't a black thing decorated with points of light. It was a place, a place where our eyes and minds could travel, and maybe someday we could too. From that time on, we have never looked back. We have told endless stories of traveling among the planets and between the stars. We built rockets that climbed steadily higher and higher until they reached the edge of space and beyond. We put animals and then people into orbit and then sent them to the moon. We landed robot spacecraft on other planets. We built space stations that are circling the world every 90 minutes right now. And we found important work to do up there, beyond the air and warmth and gravity of Earth. Hundreds of years ago, the nations of Europe sent explorers around the world. You learn about them in school. They were looking for more than glory. They hunted for things of value, gold and silver, spices, and new kinds of food. That's what we do in space today. Sure, we explore and learn amazing things about our universe. We find ice in the rings of Saturn and oceans on a moon of Jupiter. But we do a lot of other things that make your life on Earth better every day. It was mostly his idea. Science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke was the first to propose that we put artificial satellites into orbit around the Earth. And we did it, beginning with a little round ball called Sputnik. Today, communication satellites beam TV, telephone calls, and internet around the world. Navigation satellites put maps on your phone and tell you exactly where you are. Weather satellites let us predict sunny weather or storms ahead. Camera satellites help farmers grow more food, soldiers fight enemies, and rescuers bring help to those who need it. Space is big business, and it's getting bigger you will live to see a sky filled with thousands more satellites serving people on the ground, robots mining the moon, and the asteroids bringing their cargo to Earth orbit, where we will use it to build spacecraft and colonies in space. There could be a million people living, working, playing, and going to school in space in the next decades. Maybe you will be one of them. Maybe you will be one of the people who help us reach beyond the air and warmth and gravity of Earth to build the future we have been dreaming of for hundreds of years. Space, making life on Earth better, every day. Brought to you by Space and Satellite Professionals International with the support of Hunter Communications. Additional support provided by Artel, Periton, RKF Engineering, and SES.